So I'm going to be showing you guys how to restrict access with denied permissions. Um, and this is for, let's say, if you have a new student or a new employee that you know needs to get access to certain files and folders. So this is one way that you can go about it to have him be able to open certain documents and not others. So uh, to start off, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new user. So we're going to open up computer management. So computer management. And then we're going to go to local users and groups. Users. And then if you see here, I have a, already have some users on there. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and right click anywhere on in the middle here. And we're going to click new user. Type in the name. Uh, let's type in cells2. Like that. All right, and then from here you can type in like their full name. So you could type in their nickname right here. Um, let's say their full name is Jonathan. Uh, you you know you could type John, and then their full name Jonathan, the last name you know whatever. Um, right here you would set a password for them, or you can set a temporary password. You and then you click this right here. It says user must change password at next next login. That way the that password is good for one time. And then it'll let them go on to the computer and you know, uh, you know, decide what they want their password to be. Um, you can do user cannot change password, password never expires, account is disabled, stuff like that. I'm just gonna do this right here. Not gonna set anything. We're gonna click create. So that right there, you cancel out of there, and then that'll create your user. So you see there, cells two. It's my new user. And now we're gonna create a new group. So let's say we need a new department or uh, a new, uh, just a new group. So you would go to groups um, and then you right click in the middle, new group, and then the name that you want it to be. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna type in cells G for let's say a new team name, cells G. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and create um, and then we'll add him. We'll add him right here. We'll click add, and then you'll type in the name of the user. Cells two. Check names. This will give you the proper name. That way, there's no issues later on. You click OK, and then click create. All right, and see, I got an error. And what I did wrong is that I'm actually trying to create a group they already have that that I already had created. So if you try to do that and if you see down here cells G is already created so we're gonna go ahead and cancel out of there and then I'm gonna create the group that I wanted which was let's see Denny cells dash G and now we click create and it'll go through just perfect. So then you see your new group is there. Um, I'm gonna add him to my other cells group and the way that I do that, you'll click add, just the same way you type in his name, cells two, keep typing three for some reason, uh, check name, and then click OK. So now he's added to cells group G as well. Uh, click OK. And so you got your new group with your new user, and then you added them to an existing group on there. So now that's all squared away. So now we got this new group and we have to give them permissions to access the files that cells G already is able to access so the way that we do that you would open up your um, files so mine is on volume one um, marketing docs cells only so right here on cells only you're gonna right click and then go to properties you go to security and then once you get to security you can type or click edit this is loads, there we go. Edit, and then we're gonna click add. So we're gonna add them, just the same way that we've been doing it. So type in Denny cells dash G, and then check names. So it'll give you the proper name, click OK. And then from here you can select what type of uh, permissions you wanna give the, or the group. So full control, modify, read and write, execute. You know, there's a ton of these. Um, settings right here so anybody in that group Denny sells G 
is going to have these permissions to that folder. All right, so now here we're going to want to click full control and then deny. So you click on the deny box, click OK. You'll get this security warning right here. Um, you're just going to click yes um, because we don't want those uh, users to have full control to all the files on there. Um, so then you'll click yes or OK here. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log off. And then I'm going to log on with that new user that we just created. And we're going to test out the permissions to make sure it's all working correctly uh, how we wanted it. So I'm going to go ahead here. So it's two. All right. So I'm going to go to File Explorer. And then Volume 1, Marketing Docs. So we're in here. Now let's see here. Let's try to create a new file. So let's go ahead and right click, new text document. So if we have read and write files and those wouldn't do correctly, um, should let us create this new document. We're going to type new cells one. And then there we go. All right. And by creating that text document, um, we were verify that we have. Um, write, um, read and write permissions. So now let's go ahead and try to open up this folder right here. And you're going to get uh, a warning here. We're going to click continue. At this point, it would ask you for a password. So we're going to go ahead and type in our administrator password. Click OK. And then you have been denied permissions to, the, to access this folder. So we at first, we did allow this user access to this uh, folder, but then we went back and then we said uh, deny. So we didn't want him, we said deny full control. That way, um, the deny, uh, the deny overrules the allow command. So um, that's how you, you know, change your permissions on users and share folders and files for certain people.